For those of you that know me, I'm Vince Meredith. I'm one of the regional directors for Russell Investments and a warm welcome to the latest seminar we're putting on. And there'll be plenty of opportunities for you to have breakout sessions and where you can probably meet some people you've not met before, like-minded people. You've all run successful businesses and so it's used today as a good way of interacting with your peers and seeing if you can actually pick up some ideas. Today is a chance to kind of step out of, out of the comfort zone, out of your usual practice and usual ways of doing things. Some of these ideas will be new, some of them will be different, some of them will require some different ways of, of operating. And that's the only way that you, know, you can grow a business beyond you know, where you are today. So it's about sharing lessons that we've learned over you know, 10, 15 years um, from our clients, from business coaches, from you know, business books, from all over the place. We've packaged it into Russell Academy so that we can take it into individual practices and give something back to, to our partners in, in that way. Think about end of this financial year where you want to be three and five years if you can cast your mind out and make those objectives, um, kind of stretched objectives but achievable. We're going to talk about service propositions. This is not going to be me telling you what the right service proposition is, what it should be. Um, but we're going to look at a couple of examples from financial advice firms on the internet. Um, we're also going to look at, at pricing and again this is not for us to be prescriptive on what pricing should be but it's all designed to kind of get you to think about it, maybe compare and contrast and see if there's, there's um, room for improvement in what you've, you already have on offer. What I'd like to do now is have a little role play. Turn to the person next to you, one of you is going to be potential new client just walked in, one of you is the advisor with your service proposition and I want the customer to be difficult, ask tough questions, enjoy it, right? There's been no recriminations outside of those doors afterwards. Ask difficult questions, pressure test them on their proposition, ask things that perhaps you wouldn't want to be asked by potential people. Once you've done it, swap over, change roles and have a go. Typically we find that people like doing this because it's quite cathartic because you're a bit sick and tired of being on the receiving end of those questions. It's nice to actually ask somebody else them. So who has a review process in place? Like a properly documented process, everybody knows within the business who's got to do what and who's got to do it by when. What we're going to do in this session is actually build out that process, see if we can find any efficiencies to build upon, any improvements we can make. And what we're going to do is we're just going to spend a little bit of time building out the review process um, that we could institutionalise. As somebody actually put it to me uh, last week, they said, well, if you've got this and it's institutionalised uh, in place, think about succession. Um, anybody who wants to buy your book has got a ready-made instruction manual of how to service the clients. So once we've got the service structure in place and we're, we're kind of wowing our clients with a service that they've found impossible to achieve elsewhere, how do we solicit referrals. This is from the anatomy of the referral and really when a friend asks for a recommendation or a friend describes a financial challenge, those are the key situations. So our thinking around this is to target those situations, to prime clients so that when these situations come up, you're first and foremost in their mind. Everyone in here is probably quite good at reactively doing that on a day-to-day -day basis. But actually making it a strategy in terms of soliciting referrals is the kind of difference we're making here. Hopefully you'll go away with a raft of new ideas and just some time out of the business to kind of think again about where you want to focus on your businesses.